On Long Island, meantime, there are four high-stakes congressional contests that we're watching closely. CBS2 two, Carolyn, CBS Two's Carolyn Gussoff explains why these races are being watched nationwide. Once a decade, redistricting means Long Island now has newly drawn congressional districts and on top of that, three open seats. In what was Lee Zeldin's first congressional district, three Republicans are vying for the nomination. The winner faces Democrat Bridget Fleming in November. In the second, incumbent Andrew Garbarino faces a challenge from two Republicans. The winner will face Jackie Gordon in November. In what was Swazi's third CD, it's a five-way Democratic race to face George Santos in November, and in what was Rice's fourth congressional district, one of four Dems will face Anthony D. Esposito in the fall. A rare opportunity for Long Island to impact the balance of power in Washington. Experts say all eyes are on these races to see how much national issues like inflation, crime, climate change, and the Supreme Court will have on congressional races. These are consequential decisions that were made by this court and been advocated for by this extreme Republican Party uh, for decades. Well, you know, now, uh, you know, you've made your bed, now lie in it. The voters are going to have their chance to uh, make their voices heard. And I think they will, loud and clear. What we're hearing is pocketbook issues. We're hearing gas prices at four or $5 a gallon. We're hearing about empty grocery shelves. And on top of that, our, our neighbors don't feel safe anymore. The advent and uh, introduction of cashless bail by the one-party rule in Democrats in Albany make us unsafe here.